What's up guys? Welcome to Exactly Gaming. My name is Zach and today we are back with more Small Saga. That's right. Now, in the last episode, we took down a white god. Now, in this episode, we are going to be hunting down everybody else's good good moves and weapons. That way we could finally finish this wonderful masterpiece of a game. So, I believe there's going to be some hidden goodies behind these waterfalls. And so that's what I need to be looking for. Let's see. Oh, you found three seeds. Oh, there's also a scrap of parchment. Pwill the Wise lived here. He is gone now. All right, waterfall. Is there another waterfall? Another waterfall. Oh, what's that? What is this? It's, oh. You found an ancient spear, still sharp to the touch. Gwen names the weapon urine for its supernatural sheen. Oh, shit. All right, did we just find Gwen's ultimate weapon? I believe we did. Plus eight, so this plus six is plus 10, glows with an eerie light. Oh yeah, all right, Gwen. All right, now I believe one of the only places we haven't visited since then is, uh, I believe, Cranbale, which is uh, Siobhan's home. So let's go see if we can go that way. Let's go back to Siobhan's house. All right, we gotta go, 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 go. And we made it, look at us, masters. All right, let's go. Pop back down these sewers now that we got that nice, nice weapon. Yeah, let's climb down the ladder. All right. We have urine. All right, yeah, let's save. After getting that, after getting all that, we're definitely gonna, we'll do a double save. Class exact double save, let's go. All right, game has been saved. Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle, where's Dizzy? Dizzy. <clears throat> Dizzy. There you are. All aboard. All right, Dizzy, we're going to Cranbale. Because we have Bruce's stuff. I think Verm's all set. We just got Gwen's, and she's got her stuff. After we defeated the White God, I think she learned her last cool move there. Let's go over here to Cranbale. Look at me learning this map so well. <laughs> all right, everybody out. Right, we're back at Cranbale. Hope you had a pleasant flight. Oh, we did, Dizzy. We always do. Riding Dizzy Airlines. All right, let's go back to Cranbale. All right, it's been been a while since we've been back here. Ooh, can we finally go defeat that big cat? That'd be awesome. Oh shit, can we? I'd love to. This hall brings back strange memories. Nostalgic, right? I don't know if I would say nostalgic. I'm smelling something. Titan fur and indignation. We're not alone. Yeah, that'll be Tiger, the Felidae. He's probably watching us right now. There's a Felidae? In this room. Relax, he wouldn't dare try anything. Come out. Come out, Tiger. I would like to talk to the mouse. Alone. Not a chance. Take another step and the four of us will skin you alive. Nah, it's fine. Go. Really? Yeah, sure. Kitty cat here won't try anything. <laughs> if you say so. Shout if you need anything. So, what's up? I caught wind of your quest, mouse. Oh yeah? I didn't know Felidae cared about rodent matters. This is bigger than Rodentia. A mouse attacking a Felidae is an absurdity, but a mouse seeking to kill a god, that violates the laws of the old way itself. I didn't know Felidae cared about the old way either. Every animal follows the old way. The laws are writ in blood and bone. You think they can be discarded so easily? <laughs> Tossed aside because your whims demand it? Absurdity of absurdities. There is but one truth. And it is this. We are all bound by our nature. Oh shit, all right. You really wanna do this? I'll kill you this time. Let's do this. If nature stands in my way, then I'll slay nature itself. Absurd. Better hope you got a lot of health, kitty cat. Ooh, what will you do once you've conquered nature? Oh wait, why are you getting rid of that? Why are you getting rid of all my attacks, huh? Rain is the god mouse king of nothingness. 
Wretched thing, you disgust me. Oh shit, I killed him. Good. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I thought, kitty cat. Serverm! Are you okay? Yeah, of course. What was all that about? Nothing important. Let's get out of here. Yeah, that fucking little cat. Can we go further in the kitchen? I don't think it's ever let me in. Oh, shit. I'm in the house. Found a Felidae collar. Add it to my trinkets. Huh. I wonder who this belongs to. Oh, shit. Is it the cat and Vinium? We gotta go back to the cat and Vinium. I can't believe we found that. Well, now we know where we're going. After this, we're going to Vinium, baby. Let's see if we can poison his food. Got any rat poison? No? <laughs> All right, well, he ran off with his tail between his legs, but Verm leveled up, so uh, let's save. Oh, wh why do I always save after, or before I level up? All right, skills. Verm's got him. He's got to work towards, yeah, Verm's attack deal 50% extra damage against gods. we got to work towards that. Increase health by two. Yeah, Verm strikes deal an extra one damage for each stack of berserk. Increase max, yeah, by one. Yeah, we're going this way. Final strike of a multi-part attack hits twice as hard. Shit, that's pretty good. If we can't get to the, the god thing before the next one, then we'll we'll have to do that. But let's go in here and see what there is to see. Descend to Cranbell, yeah, why not? It's been so long since we've been here. May I get a chance to come back? Trash truck's outside if you guys hear all that noise. I'm sorry about the banging and clanging. I don't know what takes them so long. <laughs> They're doing good work, though. I'm not going in. That would be bad for everyone. Okay, we're not going in there. That's fine. Can we go in here? I, I beat the fella day. Well, well, Siobhan and I did. It turns out his weakness was being set on fire. Ha! Fire? That right, is it? Maybe you'll be a fine warrior yet, but the warrior's path is a perilous one, so be on your guard, lad. Can I have this sword now? It's a mouse sword. The blade is dull, but the fluorescent points of the pommel shines bright. All right. I guess nothing there for me. Let's go in here. Try to stay out of mischief. This village has seen enough adventure. All right, fine. You have anything for me? Tiger's eased off since you gave him a thrashing. It's gotten real peaceful around here. Hey, nice. All right. And up here, anything? Anything? Tiger's eased off, but the man will still let me play. The gods will smite you, she says. All right, fine. Let's go. You got anything? You've been to Murrida, have you? I hope she's you spat in the king's face. Uh, not quite. Didn't quite spit in the king's face. Something similar, though. No, not really, guys. He doesn't know. That's fine. We'll, we'll go fight the king later. Dear Ruth, the Philidae hasn't given us cause for concern in a while. Thank the heavens. The hustle and tension of murder sounds miserable. Maybe you should pack up shop for a while and come visit Cranbell. I have a big bed. Oi! Nosy! Sorry. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's see. Oh! Butterflies carry all sorts of news. Some say that a mouse and a mole were instrumental to the coup at Sky Garden. Nothing to do with me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So, can I go in here now? No? What's back here in old, uh, Siobhan's hidey hole? Anything that we've been able to find? It? Ooh, let's see. The runes are strange. You cannot read godly writing. Nope. Okay. This device looks complicated, but none of these buttons do anything. Siobhan said this thing is missing a part. Hmm. Maybe we can find the part for the game dude eventually. And there was nothing in this pile, right? Yeah, nothing I can do anything with. Okay. Maybe there is nothing in Cranbell. Maybe all we had to do was fight the big... The big guy. I don't know. I think let's go back. Yeah, I'm not going in there. That'd be bad for everybody. Yeah, so maybe there is nothing else we need to do? I don't know. Did we talked with everybody. Yeah. It's not a very big place. All right, let's head back. Return to the surface. Let's go. <clears throat> now we need to go to Vinium. Talk to that big kitty. Give him Oh, wait. Who are you? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm not looking for trouble. Uh, neither are we. Oh, great. Wait, Mole Wizard, you're carrying a fire starter, right? A fire starter? Oh, right, my wand. Yes, can I see it, please? Um, uh... Sure thing, just a sec. Wow, that's so cool. You've done some modding work, right? Loosen the spark wheel, maybe widen the wick? You got it. You're a good eye for technology. Oh, uh, thanks. You too. They have a very similar voices I gave them. But, you know, there's a way to push it further. You ever heard of Naphtha? Naphtha? 
It's a fuel, right? Not just any fuel. It's the mythical shrew fire. Centuries ago, the Golden Laurel Empire's navy used it to decimate enemy ships, a terrifying and volatile material. It creates a fire that even the gods fear. Yep, that's the stuff. Super cool, right? A fire that can burn even water itself? I can hardly imagine. Yeah, okay, I see where this is going. Uh huh? It's a sales pitch. How much for one bucket of this magical fuel, Mr. Lizard? Oh, uh, it's frack. And it's not magic, it's science. And I wasn't looking to make some seeds, but we could talk about a trade instead. A trade for what? Technology for technology. Give me something rare, something unique, something I've never seen before. I've got piles of unique tech in my den in Cranvale. It's just around the corner. It wouldn't take a minute to go grab something. You remember that you're banished, right? Mammy's not going to welcome you home with hugs and kisses. I know, but... If Gwen has the courage to return to her home, then so do I. If you say so. Okay, Frack, we'll go fetch some gadget. Will you give us the magical juice? Uh, it's not magic. Or juice. Spare me the techie talk. We'll be back soon. All right, so I guess we are going back. We must have skipped Frack the first time. Did you guys see Frack? I don't think I saw him the first time we went. All right, so we're going back in. What's wrong? I'm having second thoughts. What if Mammy sees me? If she gives you any lip, I'll dish out twice as much back. No, it's not like that. It's... She's family. I know I should make up with her. That's what I'm supposed to do, right? But I don't know if I'm ready to have that conversation to... Well... Siobhan, I don't know the details of your childhood, but I know this. You don't owe your mother forgiveness. You don't even owe her a conversation. If you don't want to see your mother, then don't give her a second of your time. Really? That seems so cruel. Not at all. If she can't respect you for who you are, then she doesn't deserve you. I don't know if I can see it that way, but I'll do my best. Gwen and me will keep watch outside. Most settlements are a wee bit small for us anyhow. <laughs> Alright, great. We're all set then. Alright, let's go. Heading in the mole settlement. Come on, Siobhan. Descend to Cranbell? Yeah, let's go. We're just gonna pop over, grab some goodies. Cranbell. The thing we want is in your little treasure trove, right? Right, I'll lead the way. All right, so she's off and gone. Probably gonna talk to her aunt, though. Let's go. Let's go up here. In the library. Uh, hi, auntie. Hello, Siobhan. Um, mm-hmm, say no more. You're as easy to read as a children's picture book. Don't worry, I won't tell your mother that you came through. Thank you, auntie, you're the best. Mm-hmm. But she hasn't seen her in, like, how long? I don't know how long moles live, but shouldn't she be more excited to see her? It's been a while for them. Back in my old den. Nostalgic, right? You could say that. I was just here about ten minutes ago, Siobhan. I used to come in here and tinker with something whenever Mammy and me would argue. By the time you arrived, I knew the ins and outs of all kinds of godly things. Oh, right. I almost forgot why we came here. This won't take a second. Siobhan found a digitized pet. You add it to your trinkets. All right. All done. Huh, that's all? Yep, let's go. Cool. All right, that was it. Yeah, great. The fables. Oh, no, I don't want that. I don't want a gold trimmed book. No, thanks. We'll be heading out, Auntie. Thanks. Appreciate you. Oh, shit. Lady Siobhan? Blade Master Neiman. I remember you, the hedge knight. You don't need to say anything. We're, we're banished. I know. We're just leaving. Let's go, Siobhan. Wait. Siobhan, Lady Gilda misses you dearly. She wants to see you. She does? I... I don't want to see her. Maybe I will someday, but not today. You can tell her that. You're, you've grown a lot since last time I saw you. But you're still Lady Gilda's daughter. You have obligations. Family duties. You don't get to just throw all that away because it makes you uncomfortable. I said no! You heard them. We're going. This is ridiculous. What kind of girl refuses to see her own mother? Must I really drag you to the throne room by the tail? I'm not a girl, Neiman. No longer. And I'm not p a plaything to be dragged. You can reject the labels, but at the end of the day, we're both bound to our roles. You are the lady's daughter, and I am the lady's ward. This is the way of society. Grow up and accept it. Need a paw? No, this is my fight. I'm about to whip your fucking ass. Yeah, we're definitely dealing heavy special damage. Hell yeah, I'm about to fuck you up. You don't even know. You think yourself a warrior? I know myself a warrior. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Alright, she's just gonna... 
Hit her with uh, overclock, actually, yeah. Not attacking? Then I'll just come to you. I'll overclock it again, why not? You ready for this? Boom! Ha <laughs> ha 34, all right. If you don't know your place, then I must teach you. All right. Not attacking, then I'll just come to you. Yeah, we're about to mess her up. She doesn't really want to hurt Siobhan, I'm sure, but Siobhan's going to mess her up, though. Ha ha ha, nice. Ow. Siobhan, I can hardly believe how much you've changed. You've really grown up. I'll take my leave, and you two can take yours. Are you going to tell Mammy I was here? I'll tell her you're thriving. Nothing more. That's the truth, after all. And I'm glad for it. Lady or warrior, girl, boy, or neither. Your father would have been proud of you, Siobhan. All right, nice. And Siobhan leveled up. Everybody's going to get nice fighting. You all right? Never been better. I'll see you outside, Zaverm. We've got to go meet Frack. Right. All right, so we're going outside to meet Frack. Can I go talk to the Lady Gilda now that we've done that? That would be interesting. I'm not going in there. Yeah, that would be bad. And she probably wouldn't want me going in there after the fact. Yeah, let's go save it. And then we'll go talk to Frack. All right, Lord Master Tobin studying si studying quietly. Let's save that. Do the old double save. There we go. Let's go up top. Return to the surface. Yeah, let's go. Let's go see Frack. Oh Frack. Oh Frack. Where you at, Frack? There you are. Uh, take a look, Frack. Whoa! Oh, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. There's a little guy in here. <laughs> yes, there is. Uh, I'm true to my word. Pass me your wand and I'll fill it up with naphtha. Hmm. It doesn't seem that different to me. Uh, you've got to hold the trigger down. Really pump it full of that magic juice. Whoa. <laughs> oh, shit. Siobhan learned hellfire. <laughs> nice. Uh, all right, well now we can go back to Vidium and give that big kitty cat his collar, maybe. I'm all set whenever you are, Mouse Gang. All right, Dizzy, let's go to Vidium. All aboard, keep your paws inside the basket at all times. All right, Dizzy, let's go grab that. Uh, let's go, actually, let's not grab that. Let's go drop off that collar. Let's, let's go grab that collar. All right, we're going back to Vidium. All right. I'm just making all the rounds this episode, doing a little traveling. Everybody hop out. Vinium, mind the gap. All right, let's go. Gonna pop into Vinium. Go see that big kitty. All the way over here. What's up, kitty cat? What do you want, mouse? I'm just wondering. I found your collar. I don't recall asking for it. Oh, well, here you go. This is clearly not my collar. It reeks of an unearned sense of pride, and the size is far too big for me. I don't I don't know what you were thinking, Vern. That's obviously Tiger's collar. Tiger? That moron of a tabby from the north? <laughs> the image of that buffoon moping over his lost collar. Well, Mouse, if you were trying to inspire nostalgia in me, then you failed. But you succeeded in entertaining me. I ought to give you something for your troubles. Here, take the bell from the collar. Perhaps you have a use for it. Received a tiger bell. Stay safe, travelers. What does a tiger bell do? Well, Siobhan also leveled up, so we should definitely get her going. What does this ability do? Siobhan goes berserk if an ally falls in battle. That's pretty good. And this is healing items used are 30% more effective. I think Berserk, if somebody falls, is pretty good. Yeah, let's go that route. That's pretty damn cool. Yeah, what's the the bell? The tiger bell? The little bell attached. Jingle, jingle. Hmm. What to do with the tiger bell, I wonder? Okay, well... He gave us a bell, so now we have a little bell there, and we did entertain him. So uh, let's go on back to uh, to the the tavern and uh, see about getting things started. Let's see. Pop back over to the tavern. Let's go see Dizzy. 
pop back over. I think we got all the all the special abilities and special weapons we were really needing. So I think we're going to go back over to Dizzy. All aboard! All right, well, guys, I think I'm going to end this one here for the day. We popped around. We got all the goodies we needed. We got Urine, Gwen's final weapon. We went and learned... Uh, Siobhan's final special move and we got into a couple of battles with old friends just to prove ourselves so in the next episode I think we're going to land down in Merida we're going to go back to the pub talk to them and see if we can get things started so if you guys did like this one be sure to like subscribe it really helps out the channel and of course I want to thank all of my members right now I've got two members that's right Rainbow Chicken Live has joined spinning to win in the members circle so if you guys want to join the cool kids club and get access to the private discord custom emojis and a shout out at the end of every video be sure to click the members tab and join I sure do appreciate all the support I've been getting thank you so much again spinning to win and Rainbow Chicken Live for both being members I'll see you guys next time mm, bye